Hey Tubes. Hey, right, here's a task at hand today. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to build a shroud, an air cooling shroud, to cover all four of these these cylinders. This is an original one here, and on the original ones, they just they sort of sit on the corner here. You know, and the air blows through and it, it cools all the fins. But uh, these things have a little bit of shape to them. So it's not like I'm just going to throw a piece of sheet metal up there. Matter of fact, I got Frank up here for show and tell. I made one for him. And, and I got a lot of compliments on that. A lot of people thought it was factory. You know, because you have the little tabs up top here that, uh, you know, bolt into the head and stuff. And then on this one, I didn't, I didn't put a, a cover here, which, which I, I really should have to keep a little bit of air in there. I'll probably remake that at one time, but... And then you got them, they, they make a little dip down here and then go under the head. But that's what we're doing. You can see on the, the original one here, you know, they do have a little bit of shape to them. And what, what, what I'm going to have to do here is come off the top here and then, then make it come into the little crevice there, little triangle, and then go into it again. And then go into it again and come all the way around to the back end here. So I'm going to have to lay it all. What I do is I lay it all out on paper and then uh, transfer it to cardboard before I cut it out on metal. But uh, we've got our, our head mechanic, Mike, over here. What are you doing over there, Mike? I'm going to just put this crankshaft together. Well, that's good. Working on it little by little. Yeah, he'll be on that for uh, a few hours now. Yeah. All right. I don't want to bother him, so I'll be, I'll be working on this. And uh, let me get this stuff off the table here, and uh, we'll show you some other stuff. But right, I got the head sitting on here, just to see how much space there is between them. And I got got two scales here. I don't know how it's showing up; they're kind of shiny. But anyway, that's almost the perfect. Let me put them together here. That's uh, just about the perfect width. And the, the heads, they have, they have a little bit of play, you know, like a, about a 64th of an inch. So, what I can do now is I can, I can take these heads off and I can actually lay them on a, lay them on a ground here or lay them on a table and uh, it make it a lot easier to make a template for them. All right, let's do that. How we doing over there? Still going on this side now. Huh? <laughs> All right. All right, I got them laid out here, but uh, I'm going to take a little side trip here, a little side story. I'm going to show you something here. Uh-oh. Yeah. What's the side story? Oh, no. Mike, Mike is tired of hearing side stories. <laughs> but uh, why don't you take a look at this here. This, this big hunk of aluminum, this block of aluminum, and this uh, piece of brass here and stuff like that. This engine is so long that we decided that it was going to need a, a hanger baron in the middle. And uh, Mike had came up with a, an idea. You know, he was, he was going to make it out of this, and he actually he spent. That was my bearing. Yeah, uh, you got the brass brass bearing was going to go in there and everything. But he worked on it, and he worked on it for about four or five hours, and then uh, he didn't finish that night. And that night, I, I, was, I was thinking about it, and I came up with a better idea. And I ran it past him, and he actually he thought he thought it was a better idea too. You know, so there's no egos involved here. That's why, you know, I get, I get comments about how well me and Mike work together. It's because there, there are no egos here. You know, Mike is, Mike is definitely the better mechanic. And I'm, I'm the, the, the body man here. So, uh, Mike scrapped an idea that he used. He was, he was working on for, uh, I'd say, about six hours, you know, cutting and milling and boring and everything else. But on the other hand, Mike came up with an idea with the heads, you know, to cut the uh, to cut the corners off, and and also with the base, you know. So we we're, we're constantly bouncing ideas off of each other, and like I said, there's no egos here, you know. I mean, if if, if something is better, we'll go with it. And uh, I just thought that was interesting. The job is the most important. Thing. That's right. The finished product right. is what's on uh, what's on our mind. So we're not going to show you the 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 Baron that that I came up with because it's. Uh, it's quite ingenious and uh, would rather not reveal all our secrets. But 
I just thought that would be an interesting story. Keep commenting too because uh, sometimes I get a hundred comments and I, I try to answer all of you and most of the time I do. You know with this new Google stuff it's tough because sometimes I'm, I'm un unable to but you know I, I like your comments and uh, like I say keep them coming. Okay let's continue on with this uh, this head here. Also here's another idea. I, I, came, I came up with the idea of cutting the the fillers off the back here and adding a little filler on the side here and then Mike, Mike suggested putting a dipstick right here on the side which was in my opinion was it was brilliant you know so that's what happens you know well we'll, we'll do that and we've done it with Frank you know we've I've come up with a dozen ideas and told him to Mike and he changed stuff and then if I come up with a good idea, he might even come up with a better one after hearing what I have to say. So I don't think we've ever had, we've ever, we've never argued about anything. We always, always come to a good compromise for the sake of the project, and it seems to work out really well. So let's get back, let's get back to these heads. Alrighty, I got my heads laid out where I want them, and I laid out. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I guess you can see that. Got some pencil marks there. That, that's the the width of the piece I want. And then the heads. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I actually laid out where the heads are going to be. And now, that little tab on the top, the elongated tab, I got, I got marked where the holes are, the head hole there. I'm just going to put that upside down like that and trace around that and that should give me that should give me everything I need alright let me play with that a little bit okay alright tubes I got myself laid out here on uh, my piece of uh, scratch paper I'm gonna cut it out and then put it up to the machine see how it looks alright tubes we uh, we got our template cut out here and it looks like it'll be pretty good that'll cover up the little holes there and the little tabs here or We'll hold that thing in place, and then we'll just have to trim the sides to where we need it. But uh, that'll look pretty nice. It will. So uh, let me lay this out and maybe cut it out. I'm not, not going to make it out of cardboard. I'm just going to use this as a template. So uh, we'll make it out of steel. All right. We'll see you on the next uh, next segment. All right, tubes. Let's see how Mike is doing. Uh, how you doing over there, Mike? Oh, it's working pretty well over here. Let me see. It's looking. Yeah, it is looking pretty good. Looks a little crooked though. Yeah, I think your ass is a little crooked. Oh, I'll oh, cut it out. <laughs> nah, it looks alright from here, buddy. Yep. Tube's gonna love it. Alrighty. I'm gonna let Mike get back to work on that thing. I'm surprised that fit, that just barely fit in our machine. Yeah, I know. We're gonna have to big, buy a build, bigger, buy a build, bigger, bigger, buy a bigger, buy a bigger lathe. Soon. For the, for the, for the six uh, cylinder, huh? I think so. Alright, keep going. We're gonna have. All right, we got the we got the crank in the cam in, and we got our, our this is actually our fan, and our flywheel. Right. But we noticed put that piece of metal there, Mike. It's bent a little bit, so we're gonna have to replace it. You see? Yeah, let's see. It's uh, go ahead, Mike. Look at that. It's off by at least. Three sixteenths of an inch. Yeah, they didn't realize that at first. Yeah, yeah, it was laying in my shed for years. And for a small wheel, what size is that, Mike? About a about ten, ten inch. inch. Yeah, yeah, ten inch. It's uh, it's just too much wobble for us. So, let's see what we got going in there, Mike. Move your hand. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got the crank hooked up and everything, and the cam. So uh, we're ready to go. I mean, not much more. Now we just gotta mess with the ignition. Right. Right. All right. I, think I don't know how long this uh, video is, Mike, but uh, I'm going to call it quits for now. All right. Until All right. next time. Say goodbye to Tubes. See you later. Bye, Tubes.